we got to get to Jets camp. Quarterback Aaron Rodgers is, of course, making his way back to the football field after rupturing his Achilles in the first game last season. Head coach Robert Sala said earlier this week that Aaron Rodgers was unlikely to play this preseason as they try to keep him healthy for the regular season. Rodgers spoke to the media yesterday. Here's what he had to say. I don't have any restrictions. I'm doing keepers, rollouts. So um, it, it was news to me yesterday when he said I wasn't going to play in the first two. That's Robert's decision. Uh, I've never told him I don't want to play in the preseason. Uh, there's a lot of uh, thoughts about whether there's any uh, particular gain from it. Um, yeah, we used to play all the time. Now nobody wants to play. They don't want to play their guys. Um, it's different. If he decides he wants me to play against the Giants, I'll strap it up and look forward to that. All right, D-Wood, I'm going to start with you. Do you like that Rodgers made those comments? I mean, I would like to have better communication. You would think your head coach and your quarterback would have better communication as far as what's your, what's your, what's your preseason going to look like. Mm -hmm. um, those are the type of things that they, they should have already you know, had a conversation about. And, and mapped out and planned out. You know, also like the conversation about the, the whole mini camp that shouldn't have been, right. you know, shouldn't have been a bigger, it shouldn't have been a bigger deal than what it was, but it just seems like the, convers the, the conversation or the lack thereof between the two men is a little concerning. I think that's the thing that I, that I take away from all this, but primarily for me, we just need to get to play. We just need to get to football. Yeah. Because yeah. It's, it just seems like every conversation now where we talk about, you know, Aaron Rodgers and the Jets, it's about something that's just not on the field, like it's or something that's just not that's insignificant to you know the bigger point of going out there and playing playing meaningful games and winning football games. So they just need to talk. Like what? What? what like I don't understand why you're not having these conversations prior to. And Aaron Rodgers comes in. Maybe Aaron Rodgers was a little ticked off by what you know Robert Sala said about. You know the 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 mini camp where he got fined or whatever. Yeah. Maybe that might be the case, but I just think that having conversation and hash and getting these things talked through before you know they come up in the media would do to just a lot of do a lot of good yeah. uh, for them moving forward. Yeah, for sure. Winning cures everything. Winning covers everything. They it, to Woody's point, they got to play, but they got to win. You know, like that. That's the reality of where the Jets are. There is no. Grace period. There is no sugar coating. I think they should be four and one through five games. They got to play and win. It, I guess there's a little bit left of uh, for us to kind of deduce through all this. I don't think that Aaron Rodgers and Robert Sala love each other. I don't think that they're like <laughs> best of friends. I don't know if that's necessarily the, 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 a huge deal. I, I think this is one of those situations. And Darlington brought this up a little bit before, which he's accurate on. Tom Brady. Bruce Arians down in Tampa, loved each other to start, and then maybe didn't see eye to eye throughout it all, ended up winning the Super Bowl. Uh, I think Robert Sala is in many ways like the, the head coach of the defense situation, and Aaron Rodgers is the head coach of the offense situation. As long as the Jets play well, and he plays well, and they are winning, a lot of this is going to be overlooked and covered up. But if they don't win, and if they don't play well, this will get ugly and get ugly quick. I think they can muster or, or kind of manage a losing streak of a couple games throughout the year just because some of that leadership. Um, but I don't, I don't think that they're the biggest fans of each other, no. Now, I do think that he should play a little bit in the preseason, just a little bit. He hasn't played football in almost two years now. So I would play Aaron just a little bit. I understand the fear of injury. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen type of thought process. You can manage how many shots he's going to take or how much he's actually going to do. But I would play him in that third game just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, me, I wouldn't play him. I, I'm, a big, I'm a big believer in joint practices. But you did hear Aaron Rodgers say in that clip, like, we used to play in the preseason all the time. So I don't think it's, like, a big deal to him if he plays in, in, you know, plays in the preseason. Like, he wouldn't be, you know, against him, you know, against himself playing in the preseason. But I just find the whole thing weird. Like, <laughs> you know, the whole thing is weird with, with Aaron's like, oh, that was news to me. Do what you Robert find it Sala concerning? That. Um, uh, Dan O said it's not concerning, especially if they win. Do you find it concerning at all? It's no, only not concerning so. if they win. If they, they don't win, they win. Oh, yeah. Uh, listen, oh, yeah. Christina, as someone who's played in this market, yeah. Okay? Right. Like, 
We tend to blow things 10 times more than what it should be in this market. So, and the only way to remedy that is by winning football games. That's They got to come out of the gates, and they got to come out of the gates winning games because if they don't start up hot, yeah. it's going to be a lot of noise in this market. I can tell you that. Dan, are you not concerned? Obviously, we saw what happened to Aaron Rodgers last year. Are you not concerned that there's a possibility that he can injure himself again in the preseason if they play him? I've never been concerned about that. I, I mean, I, I've seen a lot of preseason games. I haven't seen a lot of players, let alone quarterbacks, get hurt in preseason. I think Sanchez did it once years ago. And again, there's ways that you can make sure you basically make it impossible to happen by the way that you call the plays or the, the type of plays that you call. I'm not sitting yeah, here, Christina. He, Go ahead. Last year when he got injured, there wasn't a play. He was just, you know, getting out of yeah, the pocket. He, I, you know, I think in a preseason game, you would, Aaron would just launch that ball into the stands because yeah. there's no repercussions. Um, I, I just don't believe that you can, you can, um, you know, live in a world of constantly saying, well, what if? And to, to a lot of people's point, if something, God forbid, would happen it, it, or is going to happen, it likely will. And it's, it's paramount. September's a big month for this football team. It really is. If this team gets out to the gates, out the gates slow, there's two things. One, we know the AFC is loaded. We know so there's going to be some teams in the AFC that get out hot, and there'll probably be one, be one that's a surprise. So how you start is going to matter. And then two, this will go all the way back throughout the off season. This will the, the noise and the conversation will get unbelievably loud of the dysfunction in the organization, and they shouldn't have given up what they gave up. And is Aaron Rodgers running the show, or is Robert Sala? He should have been there for mini camp. The, the, the press conference comments, by they, they got to quiet that. And, and to Woody's point, the only way to quiet it is winning. That makes sense. Are you concerned at all? I'm not concerned. Listen, I do think the Jets need to get out fast. Their first five games are very, very favorable. And I think they have a bye week after that. And then after, after the bye, they got some monsters coming up after the bye. So yeah. I do think for the Jets, start out fast, build that momentum. And then that's, we won't even be, if they do that, we won't even be talking yeah. about any of this stuff right now.